Hey, what's up everyone? So, we're Alter Tech back again with a new exciting video. In today's video, we have the OnePlus 9 Pro rocking Oxygen OS 12. And the question we have for today is, is the camera app an upgrade or downgrade? Alright guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and dive into this real quick. And if you guys could hit that like button, I really appreciate it. I don't get paid to do this. Uh, so, going out in New York City in below freezing weather to get some photos for you guys i really appreciate you know maybe a tip or anything something uh or just a like or a good positive comment so you guys out there wondering if this is an up upgrade well i'll talk about that so one thing i've noticed on this you know you have two modes right now you have the ai camera on and off so the whole thing about this was the hasselblad in which you get natural Hasselblad colors. So with the AI camera, what it actually does is on by default. What it does is it just adds a lot more saturation I've seen. Now this one, this was me while I was walking. I was trying to test out the shutter speed because it was it was improved in Oxygen OS 11. It was doing a great job. But as you guys can see now, the contrast has been jacked the F up. For this image, it feels like everyone's wearing dark black i don't remember it being like this in Times square it's very difficult to take photos even with the pixel uh, because there's so many lights and whatnot so this one the highlights are blown out i'm just analyzing this guys i'm just analyzing i said motion because this chick over here she's walking and it just came out a little blurry it's not a bad job but there is room for improvement and as for oxygen os 11 i don't have another one plus nine pro so i can't do it side by side so we do have some motion blurring effect I'm not sure if, if this would have been a problem in Oxygen 11. It was in a change log in which they actually stated that the shutter speed has been improved for moving objects, which I did you know, notice. And as for Bumblebee over here, pretty good. I did a little editing. So the thing about ColorOS is that you're going to be doing a lot of editing. You have great cool filters as well. I think I made a video going through all of them. For example, the Cyberpunk. Just look how wicked this actually looks with the cyberpunk filter. But the bright side of this phone is that, yeah, 4K 60 frames per second. Now, 120 frames per second. And, you know, back in the day with the OnePlus 6T, I know the reds, they were like really highly saturated. In Times Square, there's so many lights and whatnot. So you guys might notice like there's like a, a tint. And that tint, that purplish tint, it's coming from one of those big signs up on top. This guy with the peace sign, with the ultra wide. Look how crisp this photo came out. Now over here, you guys could just zoom in and really notice a lot more of the details. The HDR was really damn good on the Oxygen OS 11. I wish I could go back and just try that out. Or if I had two OnePlus 9 Pros, I could have just done a great, you know, a nice side by side. Now for this one, highlights. I read all the highlights on these signs and whatnot. They're going to be good for this metric sign. Came out pretty good. See that in the theaters, HBO Max, experience in IMAX. Very nice. It's not muddy. Now this photo looks very nice and crisp. This restaurant, it smelled so good. This is with a telephoto lens. Telephoto lens just, I don't know what it did. It just crushed everything. So you're getting different results between the telephoto and main sensor. So that's something I wish they could fix. Now this was an interesting situation because of their video, the quality was great, but when it came to the photos of this guy, as you guys will see right here, and if I had access to the Gcam application, what I would have done is I would have used that instead. So unfortunately, this phone locked on to this beautiful woman who is just a picture, and for everything else it just, but for the telephoto lens, I hope they could improve the low light capabilities on the telephoto lens next year 
if they're not going to give us a, a periscope lens at least you know upgrade the low light capabilities on the telephoto lens um, as for this one you guys can see a motion blur Now, for the most part, I think I had AI off up until I'll show you guys when I turned it on. So, ultra wide camera shot. There you go. So, you're not going to see a much of a drop in quality like on the Pixel 6. The ultra wide sensor, like I said, you're getting a flagship sensor. But for this one, I guess I think AI was on this one. So, I did a long exposure shot and this guy was moving, photo bombed it, his eye. Now he's missing an eye. But the fountain, a beautiful shot. So this one is without AI and this one is with AI. You guys let me know down below which one you guys prefer. Now this one looks to be a lot more um, clearer but this one activated night mode and with night mode you have a longer exposure. Now the smoke effect looks really cool. For this one as well, uh, very nice and clean and this is with the telephoto lens. This one as well, night mode activated, so it just brightened up everything. And just for street photography, for still objects, came out fine. For moving objects, a little bit more on the blurry side. For this one, very nice and crisp. A little extra sharpening over here. Now it's very confusing because the OnePlus team did such an amazing job trying to improve the cameras on Octogen 11. And now we have an entirely different experience right now. But overall for an ultra wide camera, the quality is just really damn good. So for this one, 4K ice skating rink, just a beautiful job. So this one we have the telephoto lens, but if you were to activate AI mode, AI mode it senses that this is a nighttime shot. So it just cranks up the exposure. And you guys do have some noise in the sky and whatnot. A lot of noise. So I'm hoping next year with the OnePlus 10 Pro they actually upgrade nighttime photography with the telephoto lens. But with portrait mode, uh, this is what happens. Actually, it blurs out the background and the subject is nicely in focus. I may have overreacted on Twitter because I was like, wow, this looks amazing. But now I'm realizing that the background it was just blurred off and it kind of just hid the noise in the background and this shot over here as you would expect a great shot with the main sensor and even with the ultra wide it does like such an amazing job i'm telling you guys you have two flagship cameras on this and here with the 3x zoom and here with the telephoto camera the quality kind of dips down again I, like i said i would have wished you know it would be amazing to have three flagship cameras on the back for the ultra wide wide and telephoto that would be a great selling point for the OnePlus 10 Pro. Over here is not bad because you have you know a lot of lights and whatnot. But over here, again the contrast really just a lot. It's just cranked up all the way. And here in downtown Jersey City, so you know it's not bad. Highlights and everything, nice job. And over here with the ultra wide, again with the motion blur. And over here, this is a nice shot. So this is with the ultra wide. And here we do have the Christmas tree. Let me know which one you guys prefer. The one on the Pixel 6 or the one on the OnePlus 9 Pro. And this one is with AI on. So which one you guys prefer? Uh, this was another nice shot with the ultra wide camera. I mean for the bike tires, like the texture really isn't there. But for the leaves between this, you know, it's detailed. I guess it comes down to where it was focusing on. Here, it's another nice shot. And here is another example in which the ultra wide camera keeps up with you with the wide camera. So with the ultra wide camera, there you go. Highlights a little bit on the higher side over here with the light flare. That has to be expected. But going back and forth with the textures of the buildings, you know, they both look, you know, nice and crisp. And this is one of the final photos of the night. You guys have the Grove News Corner Store. So, highlights in the back. Can we see anything? As for the sign, do not pull. You can barely read it. Still readable. And what about the products over here? You guys can make it out. But anyways guys, let me know what you guys think. I'll post some of the video clips at the end of this. And if you guys enjoyed it, 
Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free. Hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Take care. Peace.